wonderful people of God. I just want to share with you a message, part of what we're going to have in the annual Christian conference right here in Lugazi. Uh, in uh, Judges chapter 6, uh, I'll read from verses 11. Now the angel of the Lord came and sat under the terebinth tree, which was in Oprah, which belonged to Josh, the Abirzite, while his son Gideon thrust wheat in the winepress in order to hide it from the Midianites. And the angel of the Lord appeared to him and said to him, The Lord is with you, you mighty man of valor. Gideon said to him, Oh, my Lord, if the Lord is with us, why then has all this happened to us? And where are all his miracles, which our fathers told us about, saying, Did not the Lord bring us out of Egypt? But now the Lord has forsaken us and delivered us into the hands of the Midianites. We are seeing this young man here, Gideon, stressing with. He is scared. He is not sure of what is going to happen. He is hopeless. He is looking low of himself. And he's saying there is nothing much I can do. He's saying I'm very weak. He's saying I'm very poor. He's saying I cannot even do anything as far as God has called me to do. You might be one of those people who are looking at yourself lowly, who are looking at yourself as a hopeless, poor, useless, if I may use that word. But God is saying, the Lord is with you, you mighty man of valor. The angel came in with good news. He came in with the opposite of what Gideon was thinking. So we just want to come up with the words that are on the hearts of God. God knows you're strong. God knows you're powerful. God knows you're rich. God knows you're healed. God has deposited a vision in you, a dream in you, which is bigger than your city, which is bigger than your generation, which is bigger than your job occupation. It's bigger than your education. There is something more in your life than you think. God loves you. God is with you and he is saying you are a mighty man of valor. No matter what you think of yourself, God thinks great of you. God has called you. God has called me. God has called everybody and he is saying rise up. This is your time. This is your generation to do that which God has called you to be. To be that which God has called you to be. To be that person which God created. The time for underlooking ourselves, the time for seeing ourselves as low people, the time for seeing ourselves the way Gideon looked at himself is gone. There is a new day, there is a new chapter, there is a good news that is coming right from the heart of God saying, I am with you, you are a mighty man of valor. There is a potential in you that God is counting on to change nations, to change lives, uh, to bless others. And you are going to be a blessing, not just to yourself, but to the people around you, to the city you live in, to the nation you live in, to the world as a whole. God wants us to live in that which he has called us to be. God wants us to live in the way he has called us. As he challenges us from that Gideon-like thought to the godly-like thought, he's going to rise us to what he thinks of us, to what he has called us to be. God bless you.